Hey guys, it's Crystal Briefs, and in this video I'm debunking common beliefs about the morale system in Lords Mobile Battle. I've seen so many people having misconceptions on this, so I thought I'd better address that before taking you to the deep ocean of battle dynamics. So what's morale? As an English term, it's often defined as passion and discipline for achieving something within a group of people. In Lords Mobile, morale is shown at the bottom of battle movies. I think a lot of you take morale as something that determines the outcome of a battle. People sometimes say like, if you have lower tiers in your castle, the morale decreases faster and causes burning when defending a rally. That makes sense when you can't cap a leader, but when you do cap a leader, having more lower tier troops doesn't affect the chance of a walkback. To understand why, you first need to understand what morale is. My definition of morale in Lords Mobile is a measure of cumulative troop loss in percentage at a specific time point relative to the casualties of the defeated. That sounds a bit complicated, but what it just means is that basically morale is only calculated after the total casualties are determined when the battle finishes. What you see at the bottom of battle movies is just a backward projection of troop loss in percentage. So it's not the morale leading to battle outcome, but it's actually the opposite. There, there's a reason that I never referred to the morale system in my previous videos. Morale has nothing to do with the battle outcome. But how is that possible? The battle is a war simulation and is done purely by calculation, so the computer can access the battle result instantaneously before you even receive the battle report and only then the morale depiction is added to the movie of the simulation. The computer program may not follow that order, but it does logically. You can actually calculate the morale at a given time point by yourself. Let me demonstrate. The formula for calculating the morale at any time point is this. Morale equals to 100% minus the troop lost so far over the end casualties of the defeated multiply by 100. Sorry there's a little bit of maths, but please bear with me. So in this report, the end casualties of the defeated is 1385, and the troops loss for the victor is 1145, and that would give the leftover morale of the victor at the end of the battle. And let's plug those numbers into the formula. 100% minus 1145 over 1385 times 100 would make 17.3% and the decimals will be rounded up, so it would be 18% morale left over. Now let's check that in the battle movie. So the leftover morale was 18%, the same as the calculated. You can apply the formula to any time point of the battle. So this is a snapshot of a battle with this end results. The end casualties of the defeated is 1641, and troops lost so far is 349 from 4000 troops at the start. If you plug that into the formula, you'd get 78.7% which is rounded up to 79% and that's exactly the morale shown in the battle movie. So now you understand that morale is a retrospective projection of the troop loss that requires the end result to be calculated in the first place. I think I know what you're up to. There are exceptions in which this formula doesn't work. The first exception is when you get countered by a solo or rally hit but still cap the leader. And this is what the morale looks like in that situation. So the morale of the defender was quickly reduced to 1% and holding on to it for quite a long time. In this kind of situation, the morale can still be calculated using my formula until it hits 1%, and beyond that, morale becomes useless. It's not a glitch or anything. 
It's just like the battle has to last 40 seconds or until either side is completely destroyed. When the casualties of the winner is too big and reach the casualties of the defeated early, the morale is just programmed to keep showing 1% in the movie. Another exception is that when Wall is alive in the battle, I think a lot of you have seen like when you do a dark nest, the morale of the defender suddenly drops by like 50% when you break the wall. The sudden drop in the morale is actually a result of a self-correction and the formula for the morale does not seem to apply while the wall is alive. I don't have that kind of report so can't really verify this unfortunately. Also it's programmed that the attacker can only win after breaking the wall. Failure to do so in time would automatically result in 0% morale on the attacker. Let me know in the comment if you're that sort of a wall trap and see if my formula for morale could still apply in some ways when the wall persists. So I've been telling you that morale has nothing to do with the battle outcome. What matters for winning or losing is the number of casualties, not the might loss, not the survived, but the casualties. But then does morale have any meaning in the first place? And the truth is, yes it does. It's primarily a visual aid that helps you see the battle progression more easily. It can also be useful for analyzing a battle because the percentage represents the troop loss and you can easily see which side has lost more troops at a given time point. If you're a mathematical genius, you can even start applying calculus to the morale change to do all sorts of interesting mathematical investigations. I'm by no means a mathematical genius, so I will never do that, sorry. But I'm planning to take you through the basic mathematical aspects crucial in this game, so if you're crazy enough to want to learn about that in the future, I suggest you follow my channel. So that's the end of this video. I apologize for putting quite a lot of maths into this, but I hope I've explained well enough for you to understand that morale doesn't cause anything in a battle. It's totally okay to refer to morale in daily contexts, but if you need to speak about a battle result more technically, I don't want you to refer to morale as much as possible to describe any battle phenomenon like I normally don't in videos. As always, Thank you so much for watching and see you later.